Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a beauty declutter of my beauty drawers. They're an absolute mess, which I'll show you in a minute. However, I just wanted to tell you, oh my God, yesterday was one of my worst nightmares, but I feel like a hero. So my cat, Luce, well, his name's Lucifer, I call him Luce for short. I was sitting there in the living room, casually watching TV and YouTube videos. This was about half eight at night. And I saw him come up the stairs and I was like, what is in his mouth? Right, bear in mind, he's only ever brought one animal in and it was a dead bird because he's so young, he hasn't, he doesn't know what he's doing basically. So he, I thought, what is in his mouth? I didn't think it was alive for one. So I went and looked at it and guess what it was? It was a bloody mouse and he dropped it and I had it in my hand and I lost it. And I was like, oh my God, it's alive. Like it's in my bedroom. I don't know where it is. I was like, what do I do? So we were literally there from nine o'clock at night to about quarter to 12 looking for this mouse. Like we knew where it was, we just couldn't get it out. And I was literally like, oh my God, right? So we decided in the end to leave Nala, the other cat in here to see if she could get it. Um, because I didn't want to kill it. I, I, I just, I don't know, it's not in my nature to kill animals, even if they're field mouse. But I was literally like, what if she kills it? I'm really like terrified. So basically I didn't really sleep. And I heard her like scurrying around on the floor and I was like, she must have it, she must have it. So she did actually have it. So this was like one in the morning and I was <laughs> trying to get its mouth. I finally got it and it's out and I saved its life. I think it was a little bit hurt from where it was in Nala's mouth, but basically I'm an animal rescuer, animal ris whisperer, whatever you want to call it. Basically, I'm a hero. Just putting it out there for saving this mouse. Anyway, enough of my mouse stories. Let's get into the video after I had my cup of tea. If you want to get your teas, coffees, get all comfy, ready for the video, then please do. And yeah, let's get into it. So I'm just going to spin you round to show you what they look like now at their current state, which is a mess. And I'm just going to show you what drawers are what and what I'm thinking for each drawer because Basically, when I do my makeup, I just shove it back in the drawer. I don't put it in neatly, which I need to do. So yeah, let's get into it. So these are my beauty drawers. So this one here looks like this, basically a mess, but this is normally my lipstick and lip gloss and blusher drawer. However, as you can see, it's kind of just a shit hole. Then in the middle drawer is normally foundations, bronzers, which it is still, but it's just a tip. Like I want to clean my beauty blenders because they're a mess. And then in this drawer over here is brushes, makeup wipes and um, mascaras, eyeliners, stuff like that. But I really want to sort this out. Oh, see, it doesn't even shut. That's how much stuff is in my drawers. And then underneath there, the bigger drawer. These are palettes and sunglasses, which is pretty much how I want it, but obviously tidier. So I'm going to be doing that. And then I've got spare um, travel cases for when I go away and stuff to put makeup in. And then the drawer under this is hair care stuff but and fragrance that i don't really use all the time so yeah this needs tidying so this drawer over here is skincare which i can't even open by the way if you've ever tried this if anyone's ever tried shaving their face these are bloody amazing um but yeah i'll if you want me to do a video on how to shave your face, let me know because I'm all down for that. But yeah, this is skincare, as you can see, another mess. And then the drawer underneath here is shampoos and stuff. 
I think this drawer actually was more um, just some more shampoos, like bits and bobs, electricals, and found and fake tan. But yeah, these I haven't even used that much. These are just so cute though. Right, anyway, stop procrastinating, Christina. So I just wanted to quickly show you, I have emptied drawer one. So it is a bit messy in the drawer. So all I'm gonna do is grab some Mr. Sheen polish and just spray it and clean the inside of the drawer. So I have nice clean drawers for when the makeup goes in. So, and then I literally just get a blue cloth and wipe the inside of this so it's all nice and clean so drawer one is pretty much done so this is what it looks like now all polished clean and now we just need to start putting all this back into here and all of this so this will be my lipstick drawer So this is what drawer one now looks like finished. So on this side here, we have lipsticks and lip liners and lip glosses. Here we have lip balms and lip glosses as well. Then at the back here, we have some blush. Then I have some glitter paint art for when I go to festivals. And then this section here is just lip liners that didn't fit in here and lipsticks. So yeah, that's my lipstick drawer done. Now six more drawers to go. Guys, just a little tip. I used to get a glossy box and I kept some of the boxes and they're actually quite good for like separating your drawers, your makeup drawers. So in the other, um, in my other drawer I have two. I have a lid and an actual box for lipsticks, but I only use one for my foundations. I mean, I don't even realize how many makeup stuff I actually have, but yep, still continuing on. Just so you know, this is also amazing. I highly recommend this Dior product. It's an airbrush foundation. I've got this in a shade darker to me for when I fake tan, but it makes you look flawless. But yeah, let's continue on. done my foundation drawer so we have foundations over here then we have like BB creams and foundations here then on top of there because I'm running out of room we have concealers we have one um, really messy highlighter but this is gonna be running out really soon so I've just put it on the top but then in the back there we have highlight and bronze so I've just put the highlighters on top with my Iconic and another bronze thing there. And then here we have primers, setting sprays, and then some more foundations and concealers. So the story behind why I have so many fake up is I get them from work really cheap. So, and they're quite good foundations. So, um, sorry, concealers. So they go on quite flawlessly. And yeah, I really like them. So we've got loads of them. However, they last a lifetime. So why I have so many, I don't know. 
But at the minute, my favourite foundation, just to give you an update, is the Forever Dior. And I love it. So, this is the current situation. We do have powders, which I don't know whether to put them in my brush drawer. Because I think I'm going to put my beauty blenders in there as well. But then I don't know because this is the drawer I use the most to blend stuff. So I might just pop them on the top once they're washed. Not sure. We'll see how it all turns out. So drawer number three has now been completed. This is mascaras and eyeliners with brushes and beauty blenders here. Then over here we have powders. The ones that I use the most are on here. This needs to go over here actually. So that's translucent powders and then normal powder. And over here is a mixture of brows and eyeshadow. And then that's my um, brush cleaner. So the bulk drawers are now complete, so the next ones should be quicker. So I've just completed my palettes drawer and it's looking so much nicer. The only one I don't know where to put is this one because it's an odd shape. Put them up there. So this is what this looks like. Sunglasses down here, then some bags that I don't use until I go on holiday. And then here is all my palettes. I've just showed you some of my favorites in that time lapse. So that's another drawer done. So drawer number five has been done. So I've got all my fragrances here, which I don't use as often. I may put some that are on my dresser in here as well. And then I have some body mist, some minis. Like how cute are these? From Mark Jacobs, they're so cute. Um, but they're quite handy for when you go out on a night out. Put in your bag and then I've got some so in this bag here is my fake tan stuff. So because I don't want to get on the drawers, I put it in a bag and then I've just got my hair dryer and some tongs. So that's drawer number five, fragrance and electricals. drawer is now complete so i've just got like sprays heat protections on this side shampoos conditioners like i need to try these so much i've been meaning to try them for so long because i love jennifer aniston and this is her brand and i really want it and then this is a bag full of hair clips and stuff so when i'm doing my makeup and stuff i know where to go to get them and it's quite accessible so this is my hair drawer. It's still a bit of a mess, but it's kind of an organised mess. Nala wants to know what I'm doing. But basically over here we have um, wipes and masks behind. I've just put this on top 
because it's nearly run out anyway and I'm going to get a smaller bottle and then we've got nail varnish remover, masks, serums, night cream, one of the best night creams by LMS. And then we've got dyes, shavers, and then acne stuff. But touch wood, I haven't had any acne in a while. So this is my skincare drawer done. watching my video i hope you liked it it's taken me a long time to tidy out them drawers i'm not gonna lie didn't think it's gonna take two hours but i did clean my makeup brushes and sponges as well but i feel so much better now i've done this like this feels amazing having clean makeup drawers so if you're feeling demotivated in isolation set your alarm get up and just get going and you'll feel so much better so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye